This is Twit. So these are the Beats uh, Studio Buds. Yeah, they are. I don't want to say it's it's a surprise. Uh, you know, they're not really a surprise because Beats has sort of been Apple's alt account. You know, like us, some of us have an alt account for all our rock bands that we want on Instagram. We don't want, you know, to be following them along with all our friends. This is Apple's alt account where they can experiment with different form factors and different sort of technologies and branding and do Mickey Mouse licenses that the ghost of Steve Jobs would never allow on AirPods proper. <laughs> so... This is particularly interesting because they are $149, so cheaper than the AirPods 2, you know, like they, which, which are $159, much cheaper than the $249 AirPods Pro. And they have some of the same capabilities. Most, you know, for some people, this will be a huge advantage. There is no, absolutely no stem on them. You just have this beats button and it's a clicky. Oh, that's weird. It's not a capacitor button. It is a real clicky button. Oh. And you have different nibs. And these fit in my poor mangled jujitsu judo mangled ears better than any headset <laughs> I have ever worn, wired or wireless. The the right ear actually stays in. Like these AirPods, I'm keeping, I'm adjusting them all the time during the show. Um, these just stay in. I did all sorts of outside activity. I did Fitness Plus. The fit is wonderful. What you get is... Uh, active noise cancellation. Now, uh, some people say it's better than AirPods. Some people say it's worse, better than Sony, worse. The thing with active noise cancellation is it's not an absolute. It depends on the environment. Some are really good at continual sounds like engine buzz, not good at random sounds. Uh, the algorithms are really differently tuned by different companies. Some of them are more conservative because they don't want to block out important sounds. Some of them are more aggressive and then you might miss things that you actually want to hear in, like in your music. So that very varies a lot, but also your your own hearing uh, is is different than everybody else's hearing. So when I see people say it's better or worse than that, to me, it just means like you don't understand the technology of ANC. You've got to try them. And for you, that might absolutely be true. Someone else might like them a lot better, as long as we're talking about the same class of devices. So I like these a little bit better than AirPods when it comes to active noise canceling. It just seems to suit my environment a little bit better. There are some downsides, and it does the transparency mode too, which boosts uh, sounds. Yeah, that's a nice feature AirPods. on the AirPods Max. Yeah, 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 uh, because that way, you, like, they're not blocking off the sound. You don't get Apple's H1, W1, or H1 chipset. This has a custom chipset that's designed to optimize for both iOS and for Android. Nice. So it does the auto pairing the same way as AirPods on iOS. It does the Android, you tap it to the screen and it pairs both pods separately. So in case you want to only listen with one or the other, oh, you can do that. Interesting. And it uses Android's built-in framework to do that. It works really well, but it doesn't do the automatic... Uh, propagation of that pairing to all your Apple devices. Um, and for some people, that'll be a curse because they love to set it up once and use it everywhere. For other people who think that it's just so darn promiscuous that when your AirPods Max are across the room, they're still taken over you know, from the headset you're wearing now, could be a blessing. You've got to figure that out for you. There is no capacitive charging, no capacitive charging case, but it uses USB-C instead of lightning. So if you're if you're just an iPhone user, that might irk you because you have an abundance of of lightning cables. But if you are a like a, a MacBook, an iPad, a Nintendo Switch, an Android user, you know, if you're a PC user, you're still on USB-A. So I, I I feel for you, but you know, for most modern technologies, you'll have USB-C cables, uh, and they have like Beats sound. The way that I understand Apple's lab works is. They, te they move everything to scientific, like absolute, and then they have a bunch of humans tune it because scientific sound is not really good for anybody. And there's like just different humans tuning them. So you get, it's not the old beats, you know, boom, 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 bassy sound, but it, to me it sounds a little bit different than AirPods. So they've, they've still got their own unique characteristic. And they're so inexpensive that... And they fit so well that if I had to choose right now, even though I like, there's also no head tracking for spatial audio because there's no sensors in it. And some people care about that. Some people don't. I, but like, like I said in my review, blaster to my head, I would choose these now because even though they're missing features, the ones that they have are the most important ones for me. I, uh, I, I, of course, I haven't used those, but I, uh, I thought the uh, noise cancellation in the uh, AirPods Pro Max, the over-the-ear headphones, was superb. That's that's a different. Yeah, that's probably best in class for me. Yeah, it's yeah. different because you, of course you're sealing off off your ear that way, uh, and it's a little harder yes. to do that with buds. But um, boy, I was that I, I I should to be fair, I I did slam them for their uh, audio quality, but they I can't wait to wear them on the airplane. It's the best noise cancellation yes. I've ever used. So. They're Bluetooth, so you're always going to be limited by what yeah. audio can be put through a Bluetooth pipe, and that's never going to be great. No, it's a little disappointing, but that's life. I was, you know, it's a shame the wired, <laughs> the thirty-five dollar 
not included wired doesn't give you actual wired sound, but the, but the ten dollar part will. Like if you get Apple's ten dollar adapter and then plug in your own cord, uh, you'll get it. You're kidding. Wait a minute. Tell me that again. That's got a yeah. So Apple, since they deleted the headphone jack, Apple made this little ten dollar, uh, three point five millimeter to um, lightning adapter, and that um, that that's got a DAC in it, a pretty good DAC for for a ten dollar part. Oh. It's lightning on both ends? Because th that's the weird thing about no, the No, it's, it's the opposite of the cord that they made for oh, the okay. Max. It's a cord, like, it's, it's meant to plug lightning headphones into 3.5 millimeter jacks. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I have well, lightning headphones, or so I guess, so then yeah. it will be wired headphones? Yeah, I don't know if it'll work for the AirPods Max. I haven't oh. tried that, but oh, okay. uh, you know, it, that's if, what I thought if, you were If you do me. have lightning headphones and you want to get all this, like you, you want to get all these features, I, yeah. I can. I, maybe it will. I haven't just tested it yet. I'm gonna, or I mean, that's those are cheap. I think I'll order that. And but these are really for try. people who value convenience over quality. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, the whole reason to go truly wireless. I'd like both, please, <laughs> if you yeah. don't mind. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I know we won't someday. Someday we will. But uh, maybe when there's a new Bluetooth codec, there are new newer codecs than Aptex that supposedly sound better. Bluetooth five supposedly sounds better. We'll sh we shall see. Would have been nice to have that uh, headphone jack.